the United States is one of those very rare countries. I don't know if there's another one that has been at war virtually every year since it was founded. Uh, the American Revolution was largely uh, an effort to throw off a British restriction on colonization. The British had blocked colonization west of the eastern range of mountains, the Appalachian Mountains. Colonists weren't accepting that. Certainly not George Washington, major land speculator. Uh, as soon as the British were thrown out, the US, the colonists began invading the territory of the Indian nations. And it was a war understood to be a war of extermination and destruction. Meanwhile, picking up half of Mexico, end of the century, that phase of war was over, went on in other ways. By after the Second World War, there was a change. The United States essentially replaced Britain as the world dominant power, actually to an extent that Britain had never reached. In fact, no country had ever reached. And it was understood that in order to get the America, the United States was in a position of security that had no parallel in history, controlled the entire Western hemisphere, both oceans, opposite sides of both oceans, basically nothing. But it was necessary to maintain the stance of a world dominant power that is ready to stamp out anything that challenges this domination.